I am one of the folks who can attest to the fact that the reach of PragerU is absolutely vast. It is reaching all corners of the internet to the extent that even I've seen my normie friends and family members share PragerU videos. And if that wasn't bad enough, they're attempting to share these videos in schools. They launched a program to share their videos, their right-wing disinformation videos to schools in order to brainwash children. But the situation is getting even a lot more alarming because now their target audience is much younger than they previously aimed for. Now, this story in The American Prospect lays out the details. This is by Amelia Pollard, and she writes, Last week, The Prospect reported that students across the country have been shown right-wing content from nonprofit educational video maker PragerU for years, even though it was supposedly intended for adults. Since last fall, however, the conservative organization has aggressively fundraised for PragerU resource for educators and parents, PrEP, a new education program targeted directly at school-age children. In the initiative's first batch of education-specific content released Monday, PragerU Now has videos aimed at children as young as kindergarten age. The content includes online videos and other materials designed for ages 5 to 18. This material is meant to be shown in school or at home, and although the videos aren't as overtly political as PragerU's typical 5-minute videos for adults, they are still suffused with right-wing propaganda. PragerU's website advertises its content with a chirpy marketing message, fun shows, and crafting activities created for young children that teach American history along with traditional values like faith, family, and freedom. Using popular platforms like Instagram and Twitter, PragerU has long strived to get its content in front of young people, but now that target age has plummeted. For kindergarten through second grade, one of the new educational segments is a story time that celebrates American values of freedom, individuality, hard work, equality under God, and more, starring the head of outreach for prep, Jill Simone and a mascot named Otto, modeled on the bulldog of the organization's founder, Dennis Prager. The first video features the book, Paloma Wants to Be Lady Freedom by Rachel Campos Duffy, a regular Fox News contributor whose politics deeply align with PragerU's mission. Campos Duffy's husband, Sean Duffy, was a five-term Republican congressman from Wisconsin who is now also a Fox News contributor. Former high school students have complained online about being shown adult-oriented PragerU videos, which are popular among some history and economic teachers. None of the students interviewed for last week's prospect story were comfortable confronting their teachers or school administrators, even though they recognized the conservative agenda behind the videos. But when it comes to younger children, the concern among some early education experts is that five-year-olds lack the critical thinking skills to enable them to recognize video content as political, let alone right-leaning. Now, Rachel Campos Duffy, who is the author of the book that they're promoting, um, this is someone who is a certified lunatic. Uh, she goes on Fox News all the time, and she frequently complains about how leftists and coastal elites have too much cultural influence. And so she's made it her mission very deliberately to push back on the cultural influence that she believes leftists have. So what she wants to do is embed these right-wing values in children at a young age, brainwash them quite literally, in hopes that this is going to be something that sticks, that they remain conservatives and they don't become leftists or liberals when they go to college. And just the other day on Steve Hilton's program on Fox News, Dave Rubin was complaining about how colleges essentially manufacture leftists and liberals because they teach you how to hate America. But that's not actually true. What he's referring to is history classes. When you go to school, you get taught about American history. And yes, that includes American imperialism, genocides that our country has waged against other human beings. Uh, so he claims that if you teach them that, this is trying to teach college students how to hate America. So when PragerU says, well, we're just teaching students history, nothing wrong with that. Seems pretty anodyne, right? No, actually, what they're teaching is revisionist history they don't want to portray america in you know a negative light so perhaps they downplay the elements of our past that are a little bit um controversial if you will the genocide slavery uh historical oppression of people of color uh wars over oil so this is quite literally indoctrination this is what they want to do this is what they claim liberals want to do but uh this is literally what they're doing and it has to be stopped. And really the only way I think that you can sufficiently push back against PragerU 
is by supporting their main adversary, the Gravel Institute. So if you haven't already, subscribe to the Gravel Institute. And if you can, support them on Patreon because they've already had a phenomenal uh, reach. They've been able to kind of compete with PragerU even though they just got started. And I hope that Gravel Institute launches a similar program because at the rate we're going, PragerU, they could be unstoppable, which is really bad because we want children and adults. We, we want them to get objective facts and data and statistics, not right-wing misinformation and revisionist history that is only going to perpetuate the issues that we have in America and make Americans dumber than we already are. So this absolutely has to be stopped. And I hope that more students, when they're shown these propaganda videos, they have the confidence to speak up. But I mean, if I were a high school student, I don't know that I would have the confidence to confront my history teacher about something like this. So it's dangerous. And the fact that they are trying to now indoctrinate kindergartners is really fucking just, it's gross. Recovery mode, my brain ideas. Recovery mode, my brain ideas.